Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. In this video, we are going to learn how to auto post on social media platforms from Google Sheets social media calendar. So I am managing a social media account for an apparel store and my objective is to create an automated social media calendar with the help of Google Sheets in such a way that every day at a specific time, automatically a post should be shared on all my social media platforms related to my apparel store. So how we are going to automate this entire process of creating the social media calendar. For that, we have to set up the connection between between our Google Sheets and multiple social media platforms such as Facebook pages, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. And for doing this process, I am not going to use any kind of coding and programming skills. I will simply use Public Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. So here in this video, I am going to show you step by step that how we can automatically create a social media calendar with the help of Google Sheets and share our post automatically on different social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and much more. So here I have created a spreadsheet in order to create a social media calendar inside Google Sheets and I want that according to the date every day a post should be shared automatically on my Facebook account as well as on my Instagram account as well. Now let's suppose I own an apparel store where I sell handmade crafted jewelry as well as clothing. So for that I want to regularly update my social media platforms by sharing multiple posts and that too on everyday basis. Now here I do not have much time to create a post along with a caption every day on multiple social media platforms. Therefore I have used automation for this entire process. What I will do here I have already created a social media calendar. Now according to these dates I have already uploaded the images in my google drive and on the basis of the date and the caption which I have added in my social media calendar immediately and automatically every day the post will be shared on all the social media platforms okay so we are going to set up a connection between all of our social media platforms Google Sheets and Google Drive in order to automate this entire process so here I'm going to use Public Connect for that Public Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which which helps us to automate all of our repetitive tasks quickly effortlessly and that too without any coding and programming skills so this is the home page of Public Connect where we can reach by tapping the url pabli.com slash connect in our browser after coming over here you will find two options sign in and sign up for free in case if you are already an existing user so you can directly click on sign in option but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now because i am already an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in option this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it is going to take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect where we can find all of our workflows which we have created up till now. And also we can create different folders over here on the same dashboard to save our workflows separately and accordingly. Now, in order to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. And now a dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So here I'm going to give a name to my workflow. First of all, create social media calendar from Google Sheets and auto post images on social media okay so here i have selected the name now i'm going to select the folder in which i want to save my workflow you can see i have a list of folders over here but i'm going to select social media automations folder in which i want to save my workflow okay after selecting the folder here i'm going to click on create and automatically the workflow is going to be saved in the folder which we have selected as we have done that we can see that two windows are open in front of us first is the trigger and the other is action now what are trigger and actions trigger and actions are the two main concepts the principles or the building blocks on which the entire automation runs here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this that means the action is the response towards our trigger so whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want let's suppose here i'm going to take schedule in my trigger step because i want that every day at a specific time the workflow should get triggered so because i'm creating a social media calendar that should be automated entirely and automatically the post should be shared on my social media platforms so for that i'm going to use schedule over here which is an amazing feature by pabli which helps us to schedule the workflow every day or according to the time duration we want at the specific time okay 
So here I'm going to take schedule in trigger and let's suppose I want to fetch out the current date every day whenever the workflow is going to schedule. According to that date, I want to further run the workflow. So here I'm going to take schedule in my trigger and date time formatter in my action step through which I'm going to get the current date. Now whenever the workflow is going to trigger, automatically the current date will be fetched out. So here we can see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the workflow is going to trigger, then only the current date of that specific day on which the workflow is trigger will be fetched out otherwise not okay so let's start creating the workflow quickly step by step first of all in order to start the workflow we have to go towards our trigger step and we have to select our trigger application as i told you our trigger application over here will be scheduled by pabli which is going to help us to schedule our workflow according to our requirements so here our trigger event will be scheduled workflow trigger event is an event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start as we have selected schedule workflow so whenever the workflow is going to schedule automatically entire process will be immediately start okay now as we have done that we can see that it is asking us how often you want to run your workflow so we have multiple options over here according to your requirements you can select any of the option at regular intervals once every day days of the week dates of month if you want to create the post on your social media platforms if you're creating the social media calendar on the basis of month on monthly basis so you can also select dates of month in which you can select a particular date of the month on which every month the post should be created automatically and should be shared on multiple social media platforms. Here you can also go for days of the week if you want to share the post on the weekly basis. Here because I want to share every day so I'm going to select every day over here. Alright, after selecting the duration, now we have to select the particular time at which we want this workflow to trigger. So here I'm going to select every day at 10 a.m. So I want every day at 10 a.m. the workflow should get triggered automatically and it should be scheduled for the post. Okay, so here we have received the response that means the workflow is scheduled for every day at 10 a.m. Now when we have done that, let's move forward. So what we want that whenever the workflow is going to trigger every day, we want to fetch out the current date for that same day. So here I'm going to select my action application as date time formatter through which we are going to get this current date okay and now we have to select the action event that will be current date let's click on connect here it is asking us to select the basic format in which you want the current date every time so i'm going to take you towards my spreadsheet this is my social media calendar and it has two columns date and the captions for the post according to the dates i'm going to post the images on my social media platforms so i've added the date for every day you can see over here okay now i want that every day when the workflow is going to trigger it should fetch out the current date and after getting that current date i'm going to search that date over here in my google sheets to fetch out the details of that same day post okay so here you can see that I have the date in this format date month and the year format so the same date format we have to select over here as well date month and year format here we have date month and year format now when I'm going to click on save and send test request button you can see that here we have received the correct format and the correct date 22 7 2024 okay so now what I'm going to do further when we have received the current date every day when the workflow is going to run the current date will be fetched out and now further we want to search this date in our spreadsheet so according to the date which is received as a current date in the workflow, the date will be searched over here in this particular spreadsheet and on the match of that date, the caption will be received inside Pabli Connect. In this way, we are going to get the details of a post and the date from our social media calendar towards Pabli Connect. For that, we have to set up the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So let's select our action application as Google Sheets now. Now we have to select the action event that will be Lookup spreadsheet rows v1. So with the help of lookup spreadsheet rows, we are going to get the rows which we want actually on the basis of the date. Okay, inside Pabli Connect. Let's click on connect. It is asking us for the connection. So we have two options over here, add new connection or select existing connection. I'm going to go with add new connection to build a new connection with my Google Sheets account. In case if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. As we have selected add new connection, we have to click on sign in with Google. And now we have to select the account. So now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account. It is 100% safe and we can surely click on allow. Here we have done that and we can see that our authorization has become successful very easily. And in this way, Google Sheets is successfully connected with Pabli Connect because I was already logged into my Sheets. So you also have to keep in mind whatever applications you are setting up the connection with Pabli Connect, you also have to log into those applications before setting up the connection. Okay, now here we have to select the spreadsheet. So the name of my spreadsheet is Social Media Calendar. So from the drop down, I'm going to select the same. 
then as we have selected the spreadsheet name the sheet name is also selected because we have only created one sheet over here okay now we have to enter the lookup column in which column you want to look the value for so you can see i want i'm going to look the details with the help of the date and over here the date is given inside column a so column a will be my lookup column i've entered that now it is asking us lookup value what value you want to search in the spreadsheet i want to search for the current date which i have received from the earlier response so what i will do i will simply map the current date over here now mapping is inserting data from previous step here you can see that my previous steps are given we have the date in this date time formatter step we have selected that and this is the date which we have received so i will simply map that and it is done now when we map a data by using our previous step it becomes dynamic that means with each and every new response it is going to replace automatically so every day when the workflow is going to trigger because we have mapped the current date over here so the date is going to replace with a new date of that new day and in this way we are going to search the date automatically from our spreadsheet and we are going to receive the details of that day post automatically over here to complete the automation of sharing the post on our different social media platforms as a social media calendar now when we map the date we will move forward and here it is asking us include headers in the response so i have selected it true and here and here it is asking us the sort value so i have selected top over here now when we are going to click on save and send test request button okay so you can see that here we have received the response in this response you can see that according to the match of the date we have received the captions for the post when we will go back towards the spreadsheet you can see that yes here we have the same caption exclusive offer 20% off on all accessories okay so here we have received the caption now this means that our connection up to now is absolutely successful so every day when the workflow is going to trigger and the current date will be fetched out according to that date which is received the value will be searched inside our spreadsheet and according to the match of that value the details of that entire row will be received over here inside pably connect okay now after receiving all these details from google sheets and the captions we are going to search this caption inside google drive according to this caption we are going to get the image which we have uploaded over there you can see that here this is the image which i have uploaded exclusive offer 20% off on all accessories okay so what we have to do now we have to set up the connection between google drive and pably connect so let's click on this add action step button here our action application will be google drive so let's quickly select that and here we have to select the action event that will be search file so we are going to search a file every day automatically inside google drive and according to the caption the file will be received over here that we are going to share automatically on different social media platforms so now we have selected the action event let's click on connect i'm going to go with add new connection to build a new connection with my google drive account let's click on sign in with google we will quickly select the account and now pably connect is asking us for the permission to access our google account let's click on allow once again as it is 100% safe and with this our authorization has become successful and google drive is successfully connected with pably connect so now what we have to do we have to enter the details over here in order to receive the image url of the post which you want to share from google drive so here first of all it is asking us the name of the image so the name of the file is you can see that exclusive offer 20% off i have mapped the name of the file i am going to name the file as same as the captions of the post so that the things will get easy for me now here we have to select the match option whether you want to match this name inside google drive exactly or you want to select substring so i'm going to select substring over here to get the correct response and i'm going to click on save and send test request button as we have done that you have received the response when we'll scroll down over here you can see that we have received all the details and in these details here we have received the name of the file that is exclusive offer 20% off on all accessories so in this response you can see that we have also received the image url i'm going to copy that and i'm going to open it in a new tab and you can see that this is the image i want to share this image of my handmade jewelry on my facebook account as well as instagram account automatically okay so now what we have to do we have to set up the connection between facebook and pably connect in order to first of all share this post on facebook account so you can see that this is the page style revolution which i am which i am managing on my facebook account in order to promote my business of apparel store and i want to update over here as and i want to share the post regularly on this particular page to keep it updated okay so first of all i'm going to set up the connection between facebook page and pably connect here i have already logged into my facebook account and the page is already open you can see so i'm simply going to select my action application as facebook pages after selecting the application we also have to select the action event that will be create page photo post okay so i am creating page photo post over there so i have selected the event accordingly and i'm going to go with existing connection because i've already built a connection earlier with my facebook account okay 
as we have done that we can see that now we have to select the page on which we want to share the post every time so here the name of my page is style revolution i have selected it from the drop down you can see and now we have to select the photo url so here we will simply use mapping once again we will map the photo url which we have received from google drive to automate the entire process and the url of the image will be this thumbnail link so we have mapped that now we have to enter the description that means the caption which you have to post along with this image so the caption is received through google sheets i will simply map that caption over here and we will simply click on save and send test request button as we have done that you can see that here we have received the response in this response it is given that this is the post id that means the post is created on our facebook page so let's go and check there quickly i will simply refresh this page and you can see that yes my post is automatically shared along with the same caption exclusive offer 20% off on all accessories in this way i can update regularly to all my followers regarding the new post regarding the upcoming trends offers or the new collections which i am offering to all the customers okay so now in the similar manner i want to post the same image along with the same caption on my instagram handle as well so for that what i'm going to do once again i'm going to set up the connection between instagram and public connect let's click on this add action step button here our action application will be instagram for business and here i'm going to select the action event that is publish photo let's click on connect i will once again go with the existing connection only as i've already built the connection earlier now we have already selected the account which we are running so then account is already selected over here then we have to map the photo url quickly we'll map the same url over here as well the description is also received from google sheets so quickly i'm going to map that over here as well and i will simply click on save and send test request button as we run that here also we have received the response this is the id of the post which is already created on our instagram account so let's go and check i will quickly refresh the page and you can see that yes our post is automatically created over here along with the same caption this means that our connection is absolutely successful so let's quickly summarize what we have done over here we have simply taken very simple steps we have actually created an automated social media calendar with the help of google sheets in such a way that according to the date and captions automatically every day the post will be shared on our different social media handles the images for taking the images i have used google drive over here i have uploaded all the images related to the titles which i have the related to the captions in my google drive and accordingly every day when the workflow is going to trigger and the current date of the day will be fetched out through date time formatter the date will be searched inside spreadsheet and the and then when the date will be matched over here the caption for that post and the date will be received inside public connect according to that caption then further we are going to search the file inside google drive and when the caption will be matched through the file which we have uploaded already the response will be received along with the thumbnail url of that same post and the post will be shared automatically on all the social media platforms i have taken only two social media platforms over here facebook pages and instagram but definitely you can add multiple such social media handles such as pinterest linkedin etc as well as x in order to share the post automatically on all the platforms which you are using which you want to update okay in this way very easily you can simply create the social media calendar for every day post for you can create the calendar up till one week one month or according to the requirements which you want okay i hope this video was helpful for you and it is clear to you i am going to definitely attach the link of this workflow which i have created in the description of the video for your reference you can use that same as well thank you for watching Not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com. If you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here. Now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.